Hello everyone, myself Futeh Datrak. I am planning to teach 100 plus web application security test cases easily. You don't need to have any basic skills. Search for Uday Datrak in YouTube. Uh, I have a playlist of around, I have already uploaded 45 lessons. I will be uploading at least daily one or two videos guys. Please watch from lesson 0, otherwise you may understand the lessons but you will not be creative. It's my responsibility to make sure that you understand all the lessons guys. Now let's talk about another security issue like version disclosure in response. Now what we do is we will try to open the website localhost slash let's say my application datrak application. Now I, I actually earlier I was already logged in so to check this issue it's not necessary to have an account in the application even though if you don't have the credentials username and password for the applications you can dis you can check for this issue like version disclosure in HTTP response Now we are trying to identify the software versions used by the applications. For example, as soon you open the application in the burp suit, if you see in the request, you can take any request. Like I am taking the first request, and if I could see the response of that in the HTTP response, I can see the server this version information. Now it is disclosing the Apache version and PHP version. So what happens is hacker will search for these particular versions in Google and try to identify the exploits. What is an exploit? Exploit means it is some software used to try to gain access to the application, try to gain unauthorized access to the application. So since we have installed this application just like a two weeks before itself we have uh, installed the latest version of apache and php so that means if you search for these versions you may not find for the exploits our job is like if the application shows the specific version like uh, like uh, one like 2.4.4. Point something x dot x dot x that means it's a security issue even if it is we come across some scenario like this <laughs> Uh, this you have to say that you have to take the screenshot now for this uh, now if I take the screenshot here it is only showing the response so I'll take the proper screenshot I'll right click on the request send to repeater I'm replaying the same request click send yeah now I adjust the window to take the proper image now request and response now this looks good Yeah. Now, what is the security issue here? Since you can identify, let's say if there is a 10 years old application and if it is disclosing the version headers, then if you come across 10 years old applications, the first thing is that there will be definitely deprecated application. That means the vendor, let's say if you are using Windows XP operating system, it belongs to the Microsoft and Microsoft will never release the patches for that because it's a very old operating system, right? So the hackers will find a way to hack into an up, into that particular XP operating system because it is 20 years old operating system and most of the people already found some exploits to gain access to the server if the application is running on Windows XP operating system like that. 
uh, now since you can identify this version now after two one or two years if there is any any exploit released in the market or any vulnerability for this particular version then hacker can immediately see the version in the response and try to use that particular software to hack into an application so how we how the developer can fix this issue uh, he he has to put a setting in an apache since we are using apache http server he has to put a settings like you know server signature equal to off that means it will not display this particular version information kind of thing for every software it changes so for apache and i already told you the setting you have to go to like php.ini in that you have to give a sorry apache httpd.conf file in that you have to give a server signature equal to off by default it is on so this is how without touching the application code the developer can can remove the version information from the http response headers the second way is that is from the headers right we were this part is called as headers from the top and below to that it is an uh, http response now if i try to request any file which doesn't exist on the server for example if you could see still i can find this information this is on the page so on the pages also the application should not display the version information so the developer should fix in the http response headers and also on the pages so when you are checking try to request for some non-existent pages then you can give any characters then the application if disclosed on the page take the screenshot and report as a security issue like version disclosure uh, now like in future if if any exploit released hacker can i already told you like not necessary to repeat in order to take the screenshot you can give this particular string so that if the developer wants to test he can pass the similar parameters and try to identify this that's it guys this is a low level issue uh, but if the application is using very old framework versions using this information the attacker can hack into an application for example uh, we'll show i will i cannot take out the vendor names because it's like a bad reputation for them so i don't want to take out i was able to hack into an applications more than 20 30 times for official projects using version disclosure guys so you should not take this light there is a framework in the metasploit for each particular version they have already have the exploits to get the shell access on the server but for the latest versions there won't be any exploits